Hey everybody, happy Wednesday and welcome back to the Fuller Homestead. Out here in the shop to do a little bit of maintenance on a chainsaw. Interesting story about this saw. When I first was looking at the property, I was able to talk to the previous owner and he had a shop full of stuff. And so he was like, hey, is there anything in here that you need? And I ended up buying a mower off of him, the bad boy mower that you've seen. I also bought a couple of welders and then I bought this chainsaw. It's a steel MS390. When I saw that he had this one and he didn't want to hang on to it, I offered him a price and we uh, kind of shook hands on it. The issue is though, I never actually had him started. Probably been a while since it's been cleaned. I don't know how long the fuel has been in here. There's very little bar oil because most of it has already leaked out. Very little fuel. We're just going to go ahead and check the air filter, check the spark plug, give it a good cleaning, make sure it's getting plenty of ventilation and see if we can get it started. First thing I'm going to do is take the back cover off of it and check that air filter. Oh yeah, it's been a, it's been a while since this has had any kind of cleaning on it. We're going to go ahead and take it off and get the air compressor and blow it out. So even after the air compressor, it's still, you can barely see any daylight through it. So I think I'm gonna actually get some soap and water and, uh, and try to scrub that out. But in the meantime, just to make sure we don't do any damage to this, I'm gonna cut off a piece of rag here and I'm gonna try to cover up this carburetor. All right, so hopefully that'll help. Let's go ahead and get this boot off the spark plug and pull it out. Check, see what's going on there. Not bad, let me show you. All right, so that uh, spark plug doesn't look too bad. I'm gonna go ahead and get a wire brush and see if we can't uh, scrape it off just for good measure. All right, set that to the side for now. I'm gonna go ahead and get uh, some compressed air in here. Be really careful around the edges. Well, I did my best with this air filter. I went inside and washed it off with hot water and soap. Also took the air compressor to dry it out and to blow it out. and. I mean, I've got, at least I can see a little bit of daylight through it, but it's not great. So I went ahead and ordered another air filter, but we're gonna use this one just to get the chainsaw started. And then when the new one comes in, I'll replace it. I don't know if you can see it or not, but when I opened up that back case, uh, Dirt Dobber's Nest came out of there, smaller one and a larger one. I would say it's been sitting for a while, but around here, a Dirt Dobber can build one of those nests in like three hours. So it's not, a, not an indicator that um, it's been sitting for months and months for sure. choke set to the lowest position here. Sounded promising. All 
All right, admittedly, this is not the thing I know the most about, but we're here to learn. When I took off the cover, uh, I did dislocate the choke lever. The bar came all the way out of its housing there. All right, I think I know what I was doing wrong. This piece of spring steel right here is actually supposed to go on top. Let me go ahead and pull it back out the way I had it and I'll show you how I was doing it wrong. Now, in full transparency, I have not tried this, but this is my best guess of what I'm doing. So I took the air filter off to get a better look at it. What I, once I realized it had come off, what I was trying to do was to lay this piece right on top of there in the groove, can you see that? But what I think I have come to learn is that it actually goes underneath it. So it's a little bit, takes a little finagling. Do that and that sets right back in there. Then you can set that there and then you go to the lowest setting, which is full choke. And you can see the carb here will follow it on up. So you're I mean, killing it. It should be dead. That should be dead. It shorts it out. You can tell right here. I'm gonna take the uh, filter back off. I try to crank it with the throttle all the way open, it'll go. Well, let me rephrase that, it'll fire up, but it will not sit at idle. With the air filter off, it's obviously not being choked up by a very poor filter, and this one is, no doubt. With it starting with full throttle on, and then only staying on when I've got full throttle, it makes me think that gas, enough gas is not getting in there to keep it running. I did pull out the filter of the fuel tank just to look at it. It looks great. I pulled out the spark plug after starting it. It didn't seem like it just had a, you know, a ton of fuel or anything in there. I haven't just smelt a ton of gas there. So I believe something's happening from the fuel tank to the carb that's making the flow of gas not be enough. I think what I'm gonna to try to do is take a few more things apart, see what my line looks like from the tank to the carb, maybe even blow it out, see if possibly there's something in there prohibiting it from getting up in there. Yeah, I just emptied all of the fuel out of the tank. I did look in there with a light and it looks clean, clean, clean. Also, the fuel filter looks really good. I'll go ahead and pull it out so you can see it a little better. All right, so the fuel filter looks fine. All right, let's take this carb off. It doesn't look bad, but we need to make sure that all these ports are fully open. We did take the carburetor off of it. I did spray it down with some brake clean. I also made sure that the ports coming in and out are clear. I also took the fuel line from the bottom of the carb and then pulled the fuel line out of the gas cap, had both ends and then shot some air through there, took the fuel filter off, shot some air through there, shot some air through the fuel filter to make sure it was cleaned out and then reassembled everything, tightened everything back down. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to adjust the carburetor, but in order to do that, I'm gonna go ahead just to make sure that I'm kind of 
you know, giving the engine the load that it's gonna have. I'm gonna go ahead and put the bar and the chain back on. Obviously not ideal to set an air fuel mixture when you don't have your air filter on here. We're just gonna do it to see if we can get this thing to crank off and at least idle. I don't have any kind of device to check the RPMs on my motor, so I'm just gonna have to play it by ear, so to speak. All right, let me get the uh, bar and chain back on. This lower one right here is my idle screw. And then up here, there are two different ones. There's a high and a low. I believe the high is furthest away. So you can see kind of the marking. So idle screws right through this one and then a high and a low, low on the left, high on the right. If we can just get it to run and sit on idle for a while, we're doing 100% better than we were. So let's see what we got. After taking it, cleaning it, taking the carb out, cleaning it, putting everything back together, blowing out fuel lines, blowing out fuel filters, uh, we were able to start it. So that is something we didn't have before. I'll put the current air filter back on there, even though we obviously aren't gonna use that for working. Put the cap back on just to keep everything nice and tight. For right now, the good news is, is that our steel MS390 that we bought off the previous owner is going to be a workable chainsaw for us. So I'm excited about that. And that's gonna do it for today's video. Thanks so much for stopping in. If you're new to our channel and have not yet subscribed, we would love for you to do that. In fact, I'm gonna give you the opportunity right now. We're just gonna take a moment. You just go ahead and take your mouse, go down there and click, I'll wait. Yeah, there you go. So thanks so much. At the time of this recording, I think we're in the 87-ish uh, subscribers. So that's exciting. We're getting closer to 100, which is pretty crazy considering we've only done this for a couple of months. We try to put out videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And since today is Wednesday, that means we will see you at the beginning of the weekend. Have a great last half of your work week. We'll talk to you soon.